Uncle, Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing out there? Trump. Trump has given praise to NATO. <laughs> you know, he, um, he, you know, during his campaign, he was uh, saying that NATO wasn't pulling their weight. You know, they weren't. Cause I know, because I think the NATO members are supposed to spend a certain amount of their, um, I guess, their revenue or budget towards their defense spending. And a lot of a lot of NATO members weren't doing it. So when it came down to the came come down, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, uh, the United States would have to do anything military-wise involving NATO because you know the other countries didn't just didn't have the, the troops, the equipment, whatever. They just didn't spend it, you know. They, and we're not going to get in the United States defense spending. You know, it's it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? It, it costs to be the world police. Apparently, evidently, um, but now I guess he met with I forget we met with one of the NATO honchos, <laughs> and uh, he's giving glowing praise. Uh, I guess, and and this is probably part of his deal making. You know, I mean, he came out hard against NATO. You know what I mean? And uh, he took a hard stand, saying that there they were nothing, and he threatened to withdraw. You know. And all the talking heads in America were like, oh, no, we can't withdraw from NATO. Oh, no, no. And uh, now some of the NATO countries, I think, uh, they, I guess they have promised or I don't know if they promised or signed they're going to increase their, their defense spending uh, for NATO. And uh, so uh, maybe that was Trump's end goal all along, you know what I mean, to get these other countries to spend more money on NATO so the United States wouldn't have to be the, the sole bearers of it. Um, but, you know, a lot of people were hip or hip to the idea or loved the idea of uh, withdrawing from NATO. You know what I mean? The isolationists, the alt-rightists, you know what I mean? They were like, hey, man, we're, forget it, this NATO, man. Let Europe be Europe. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't even know what the, to be honest with you, I don't know what's the use for NATO, to be honest with you. I don't. Um, I think uh, is it going to stop Russian aggression? You know what I mean? I, I mean, this is to me. It's just there to be another stepping stone to a one-world government. You know what I mean? Uh, for it to be what they allege to be defense. You know what I mean? Defense from what? The aliens? You know what I'm saying? What? The, what is going to take over the world? You know? I, I just I, I don't get it. Um, that's just me. Um, so, I mean, this is this might be this. this I think this is another example of the, the chess playing Trump has played uh, to get at eventually what he wanted, which is other companies, to, other countries to strengthen their their NATO position and to, and their uh, involvement in NATO. Um, I'm not too uh, hip. I'm not. I'm not too. I'm not here nor there about it. I'd rather us drop the defense spending in our involvement with NATO. I mean, not if you don't have to do it like, like cold turkey, but you can at least cut back on some of the stuff. I'd rather do that than uh, now he's going to, he's going full bore. And, uh, you know, and, it, and then I read a, a Joe Scarborough tweet and he was cheerleading the shit. <laughs> Sorry for cursing. He was cheerleading it saying, oh, Trump has reversed his decisions on, on, on NATO, on Russia, on Assad, and maybe he's seeing the light, and this, <laughs> I'm like, wow. And to some people that voted for him, like, those, his original position is what he really wanted, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just crazy, but it's, it's funny. Now you see the mainstream media. I'm telling you, they're going to be start backing him. I mean, they're, they're just going to be a pro-Trump media it's sooner or later. I don't know if this is when he he went all the way he went all the way left. I mean, not literal left, but he went all the way to one side. And then he's bringing it back to bringing it back to center. And now the media has no choice to to start blowing him again. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? Because uh, that's what the elites want. The elites want the NATO. The elites want the Saad out. The elites want a Russia uh, United States entanglement. You know what I mean? And I don't want that. I mean, the bigger thing on that is the, I don't want a Russia and uh, America uh, engagement of any sorts, by any means. You know, a lot of people, the same people that say Russia was powerful enough to influence our elections are the same ones that are saying, hey man, let's go to war with Russia. Like, are they, you know what I mean? Are you saying they're easy to defeat, but they're powerful enough to get influence our elections? Like, if they were slick enough to do that, then, uh, well, what you're saying? I'm not believing that. But I'm just saying, I'm just trying to use y'all, y'all's uh, thinking points. I, I am for one, I am one for to believe that uh, Russia is a little bit stronger militarily than uh, that is led on to be. And I think uh, America's military isn't as strong as it's led on to be. Uh, you got to remember, they come, the United States military is coming off of eight years of Obama. They're coming off of uh, uh, diversity placements in their officers, like transgenders and officers and all this junk. High level officers. If y'all think they're ready to go to war with them, <laughs> the Russian cats, you guys are sadly mistaken. I'm tell I'm sitting there tell I'm here to tell y'all, man. Until he purges them generals and all them officers, man. <sighs> man, there's gonna be some heavy losses in America. And is in the, is America ready for heavy losses in such an engagement? Russia, they, they tried out all their new weapons in Syria, battle tested, they even had robots out there, you know what I mean, so any engagement in Syria, they're going to have the serious advantage, man, but you guys got these neocons and other shines, it's even on both sides, you know, what's funny, Bernie Sanders was like, he wasn't against the uh, <laughs> the strike. He was just like he wanted to want to make it clear to the American people what we're doing. You know what I mean? A non-answer. Boy, I tell you. But anyway, I just want to talk about uh, Trump and NATO. I guess we're best friends again. <laughs> One world government. Here we come. <laughs> Y'all should have listened to Ron Paul. Anyway, this is uh, Uncle Hotep. I'm out. If you can donate to my Patreon, I appreciate it. You know, YouTube is, is killing our, all the content creators. Um, or my PayPal. Uh, this is my SoundCloud, SoundCloud. My podcast, Uncle Hotep, or on iTunes. Follow me on Twitter, Handy Mayhem. Um, I, I'm doing a podcast today from my boy Doe Dubes. I'll let y'all know when it's out. And I'm also, I should be on Tlaib Stark's uh, show today to talk about the Libya slave things. Uh, if y'all are tuned into any of them, uh, uh, check it out for today. I think it's a live show, I think. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotep. I'm out. Peace.